Hey everybody, this is going to be my first update video on painting uh, this slug zombie character. Um, this one is Blazing Basil. And uh, I think it's kind of sounds like a bagel. Blazing Bagels. And um, it's kind of cool. They uh, In the pack there's a little backstory about him. And uh, for him it's a survival skill, handy with an axe. He likes fire poles, dalmatians, and pottery. He dislikes hot-headed zombies and spicy food. And his favorite quote is, Is it hot in here or is it just me? Not much of a bio, but... <laughs> um, so I started painting this one, and I'm going to go over what I'm what I'm doing. Um, I don't know how many parts there will be to painting this, because uh, we'll see how good it turns out, I guess. Um, but in my review, I talk about what I thought about the figure, and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, I was I thought the grooves here and the and the jacket could be a little deeper. Um, the plastic's kind of soft, so when you cut it, it kind of uh, kind of like shreds almost. So it's it's pretty difficult to uh, to fix seam lines and and whatnot. Um, but overall, the seam line's pretty good around the the edge of it, so I didn't have too much worries. Um, I thought the hat was a little small. I think the the brim could be out a little exaggerated more because you can see his hands are a little big. I think, but I guess that's kind of the style. Uh, I really like the axe. That's the, the cool part there. So uh, here's the first step I did. Excuse me there, and uh, yeah, so I decided to paint the. the this in kind of like a gray theme kind of make it more like a post apocalypse look i guess with the with the gray suit here um and the first step here was just a, a real light gray just to get to see if i really wanted to make it gray or not and uh i wanted to make it I knew I wanted to have some red in it because that's kind of the traditional firefighter, but I didn't want it want it too much. Kind of like a just a little bit red, like the <laughs> the next generation Star Trek Next Generation uniforms or something. Um, that kind of does clash with the with the axe, though. Uh, I got a cool effect going on the axe. It uh, I think some something affected the the plastic, I guess maybe the primer. Because the, the plastic's kind of soft, so kind of kind of brittle. But for this stuff, it's okay. You know, it's not like I'm entering some contest or anything. But I kind of like how that looks. It's automatically scratched up. Uh, and I just kind of filled the base colors in to get an idea. And then here's a, the next step I did. Uh, this kind of I, I filled it all in with the same gray. And uh, oh yeah, painted is is belt uh, brown to make it stick out it wasn't sticking out enough being black and uh, I painted the axe there I kind of weathered the edge here so that, that, look, that looks really nice uh, I still gotta weather the the axe handle I'm trying to keep the colors kind of dark maybe just have the brightest part be the red and uh, I painted his face in a little bit here and uh, he has some weird looking eyes. He kind of like, almost looks like a zombie himself. So I kind of, I don't like that. And obviously I'm not the best painter and uh, I really have a limited supply of <laughs> paint right now. So um, I I think my goal might just be a little bit above uh, a nice uh, base coat and not really kind of worry about shading as much. Um, I think I might, if I, do shading I might just at least concentrate it on the skin and uh, of course put a black wash on everything make it stand out but uh, that's about all the supplies you know I, knowing my supplies of what I can do I don't he has this thing on his his jacket here you go back here I don't know what this part is here if you can it kind of looks like a built-in flashlight or whatnot and he also has this ribbon here on his jacket and I don't know what that what that's supposed to be um, so after that here's the the latest step I'm on 
Um, we'll start here with the axe. The axe looks pretty good. Uh, I set the weather the handle. And um, at the end of it, I think I'm going to, when the figure's all done, uh, I'm going to, like, splatter blood on it and some dirt and stuff. But I might wait until I figure out what kind of diorama I want to do. Like, just a little diorama. Uh, I painted his, I was painting something else pink, and I just <laughs> painted his fingernails pink. That looks kind of stupid. Um, I think his jacket looks pretty nice. There's some parts here. Really, this is like super zoomed in on my eye, on the figure, but I think they're all right <laughs> on the the seams there. So I might kind of f touch that up a little bit. Got to fix some other parts here, obviously. Uh, we decided to paint his eyes over again. Maybe maybe kind of make a, the eyes bigger to make it maybe look like he's kind of going crazy or something instead of because here before. He just looks like a serial killer with the axe. He's supposed to be the hero guy. And, uh... I don't like his boots too much. I wish there was more detail on the boots, but I uh, can't do really much about that. Um, still don't know what this thing is here. Oh, yeah, here's the back. I didn't, I didn't show that in the other ones, but, uh... I kind of... It's a little messy there for my... My hands got on there, but uh got to clean this up a little bit. I want to make it a little more cleaner. He has a uh, um, oxygen tank there. I wish he had an oxygen mask. I think that would be a cool addition. Uh, I like the weathering here on, on that part. I kind of overdid it, though. Got to gotta redo that, I think. Uh, might kind of put... I might... I thought about putting some... Uh, maybe adding some little details on his collar here, maybe stripes or something, or or put like a number, like he's part of a division or something. Maybe the same thing on the the tank there. I also might put something on the axe, like a uh, I don't know, something zombie related. If you guys think of anything, let me know. I kind of just roughed in his his head there, so. Yeah, but that's all I got so far on this one. It's looking pretty good, I guess. I think maybe I'll just kind of touch up the areas there, make it smoother, and see how that turns out. I'm not too crazy about the figure because I, but uh, I don't know. There's there's some challenge there, definitely with what I have, and um, this this picture makes it look better because I I did the lighting better, but uh, kind of my goal was to make it. Like, if I descended there, I'd be pretty happy, but, uh, as an update on this one, I think I'm going to take a little break on, uh, painting this guy. Maybe somebody will, uh, comment, let me know what you guys think, and, um, see you guys next time.